What is up, Priest Planet? It's the Tarot Priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to Priest Planet, where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and truth. Welcome to the planet, and most importantly, welcome to the family at Priest Planet. We believe that you are a creator and a manifester of your own world, which makes everybody a priest. Although I call myself the tarot priest, I believe that we all have the gift of intuition and I believe that I'm just here to direct you guys back to your intuition, but most importantly, love, freedom, happiness, and truth. All right, so in this pick a card reading, what I'm gonna be looking at is what do people find most attractive about you? Also, if you guys are thinking about someone and choose a deck based off of the person you're thinking about, this is also going to apply to what does that person find most attractive about you? I'm gonna be using this cool little spinner here. After you guys have chosen the deck, I'm gonna be spinning this to figure out what exactly do they like most about you and what do they find most attractive about you? So if you guys wanna book a personal session with me or want to learn how to read tarot you can find the link in the description box below along with any other information that you guys may be seeking last but not least for those of you guys who have left comments uh the past subscribers i've gotten so many subscribers in the past day like it's been amazing the support thank you guys for all of your love your light your support your comments that you guys leave down below um one of my favorite comments being that my hair was antennas picking up Destiny's messages. That was hilarious to me. But for the most part, I think that you guys are super amazing. And I am really appreciative for all the support that you guys have left on my channel. Subscribe, emails, my Instagram, all of it. Thank you guys so much. I find it an honor to be able to guide you guys along your journey, as I always say. So let's hop into this reading. Today we have four different decks. We have deck number one deck number two deck number three deck number four again the question is what do people or the person you're thinking about find most attractive about you most attractive about you also if you guys are new to my channel welcome to priest planet where we embrace truth love freedom and happiness so if you guys have made it to my channel or recently subscribed thank you for that and welcome to the family at Priest Planet, we believe that everybody is a priest and capable of creating and manifesting their own world. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and what do people find most attractive about you? All right, so first I want to do the spinner to set the mood for the general energy and overall energy for what people find most attractive about you. All right, so we have somewhere in between. It looks like it's on spirit. So basically people find that your spirit is really attractive. So it is in between spirit and courage, but we're gonna use spirit as the guidance and the overall energy for what people find most attractive about you. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, the first card that we have is Diana and Diana is focused in tension. Think about what you desire, set your sights high, expect the best possible outcome. So Diana is very focused and she has a really set intention on what it is that she wants to achieve. Um, also, Diana is very strong. She's very independent, uh, but she pretty much gets what she wants. All right, let's think. Let's see some more energy that we have here. All right, so your spirit on your own terms. So yeah, you're really independent. Uh, people admire that about you, be there for you. It's interesting because what I see with you and what people find attractive about you is that you are pretty focused, you know what you want, you're very determined, you're very ambitious. When I pick up the card and feel the energy of this, this girl reminds me, and again, it doesn't matter if you're a male or a female because again, energy, spirit, soul is fluid. But with this card, I feel like this reminds me of the girl from Hunger Games. She doesn't settle for less. She's very ambitious and maybe that's why it's in between courage and spirit because I feel like Diana has a lot of courage, but she's very strong, very independent. I feel like people really like that about you. Like you have your mind made up on something and you go after it. Some of you guys could have went after like your doctor's degree or a degree, went after that. Um, some of you guys love nature and basically climbing mountains just to say that you did it. <laughs> Like you just, when you put your mind to it, you do it and people really love that about you. So that's the kind of energy that I pick up from Diana. She's very focused and she has high standards, not high standards from a materialistic thing, uh, but she really understands who she is and has a focused intention. And so, yeah, that would be your energy and what people find attractive about you. 
Uh, she waited a really long time to be saved until one day she decided to save herself. It was a very good day. So yeah, I'm not surprised that this card is coming out too because it's like you do things on your own and people just love the independence. I'm also getting though that people find it can be intimidated, intimidating because you have an alpha spirit. So you're very independent. You save yourself. You've been through a lot though and I think that's why you, you have so much tenacity and strength when it comes to doing the things and conquering the things that you've done in your life and so you've been through so much and you don't really depend on other people you kind of depend on yourself even though it says be there for you and there's two people here on this card it's you being there for yourself like you're your own savior and people love that about you they don't worry about you you're the person that you could be an older sibling too but you have that energy like people just do not worry about you they know that you're going to be good um, though that could be like a, a bad thing in a sense because people can also be there for you as well. I feel like you're always the strong person and people just, because they admire that about you, they don't really sometimes take the time out to ask how you are, but because they just assume that you're, you're this person that has it all together, which you are, uh, but I just think that it's created you to have to be there for yourself a lot. And so people really love that about you, uh, that you are just so ambitious and if you say you're going to do it, people say people are saying, I hear people saying like, if she says or he says they're going to do it, they're going to do it. There's no question about it. All right, let's see. Dog spirit. So you're very loyal. And again, you know, it's crazy because a dog is, they say a person's best friend or man or a woman's best friend. And it's like you, that's how you are for yourself. You're very self-willed. It doesn't take someone to come in and say, oh, you need to be motivated. You do this yourself. And people admire that about you as well. Uh, that you're very loyal. Again, commitment. If you say you're going to do it, you're going to do it. People admire your word and you, because you keep it. And then also the lizard spirit, dream the world into being. So with the spiritual aspect of this, I do feel like people think or believe in what they're attracted about you is that you are loyal, but you make things happen. And they re people really admire that about you. They love that about you. They're very attracted to the fact that, again, like I said, you're independent, strong-willed, very tenacious have courage spirituality as far as creating things into existence so dream the world into being you have a very ambitious energy very strong willed again and very loyal to the dreams and the things that you want to achieve and this is also the type of energy i get from someone who works multiple jobs or someone who just gets the job done people really are attracted to that about you and that you're just so strong. And obviously, again, like that you're loyal. All right, let's see what else we have here. Intuition. So yeah, this is where the spiritual aspect comes in with, with the spinner that I did previously. It's about the fact that you do have a gift of intuition and spiritually sound. I feel like you pick up energy pretty well. People admire that or love that about you and they're very attracted to that. As far as your intuition, you just kind of have a sense of knowing what to do. And I feel that's just because of the things that you have been through, you've, you've learned how to adapt and tap into your intuition and use your intuition. And that's also why you're so strong-willed. Uh, people are really attracted to that. They see you as like a high priest, a high priestess. Very intuitive. They love that about you. The fact that you follow your heart with a lot of the things that you do do. And also you go against the grain. I, I'm hearing that you go against the grain. You're almost like a rebel, but you still do what's right. So you go against what people say you can't do. And that's basically because you do have a gift of intuition and you follow your heart and uh, you trust your intuition. So this is like a soldier too. People just see that about you. They see that it's almost like your eyes give in a window a window perspective of spirituality when people look at you and they're very attracted to that as far as your intuitions and you following your heart what's interesting though i'm not really getting a lot of physical stuff though physically i feel like with what people see about you and what they're attracted to is your energy your spirit your intuition all and you just have this energy that makes you so beautiful or handsome and that's why people admire these things about you because it's like you can have someone that's physically attractive but when you add this on top of it it's like the real deal that's the whole that's the whole package right there all right let's see partnership 
Um, so teamwork. So they do see you as being um, really good, a really good leader, wanting to work with you. Uh, people are attracted attracted by that and they find that you're trustworthy. Again, you keep your word. So if I ask you to do something, I know that you're going to do it because that's just the person that you are. People are really attracted to that uh, and wanting to partner up with you. They they believe that you're a great partner in, in relationship, but also in friendship. They believe that you're a great partner. They're attracted to that too. Awareness, yeah. So the awareness and the intuition. So you live in the moment. You're very conscious of your thoughts. You're very conscious of your signs and guidance, and it brings a different element of who you are. It brings a different level of attraction because you're so aware, and a lot of people find you wise because of that. They find you wise because of the intuition and the awareness living in the present moment. I feel like there's things that you know about the world that people have yet to, to understand, and so people are really attracted to that on you. So you're strong. You do things for yourself, very independent, hard worker. You're very spiritually in sound or in sync, very loyal to whatever it is, whether it's a partnership. And that's what I'm getting already with what people are attracted to, why people are attracted to you. Ace of Cups, you welcome in new love and trust what it brings. So yeah, you have a really good heart. You're open to new things. You're ambitious when it comes to love. You're open to things. Though you've been through a lot and you're independent, you're still open to love. And people admire that or love that about you. They're very, really attracted to that, that you are opening up to new love. But I feel like with the Ace of Cups, this is your energy as well. When people see you, it's almost like they see you offering so much love. Queen of Pentacles, I have everything I need to prosper. Again, you're independent. You don't need anybody, but you're open. You're open to new love. And that's the cool thing is like you are very prosperous you are at a place where you're like i've done this by myself i didn't need you then but i'm open to partnership i'm just i have everything i need because i've pros i prosper and that's because of your intuition your awareness and the gifts that you do have that people are physically attracted to you or attracted to you from so even if you are physically attractive to the person you're asking about or the people you're asking about this like I said, just takes it to another level. I trust my ability to make a strategic decision. So you're your own king of swords and you're very independent, very strong. People are very attracted to that. Again, some people are intimidated by that because you have such an alpha spirit, but you get things done. You could be an entrepreneur. For those of you who are, people find that very attractive because they look at you and they admire that. They admire that you can do what you say you can do. Five of Pentacles, I am supported and never alone. So you do have insight and intuition again of trusting that you're never alone, but trusting in the universe, again, trusting in God, whatever you believe in the spiritual aspect. So there is a lot of spirituality to you that people are very attracted to and also your energy as well. People being attracted to that, you not being afraid to take a loss, a loss, very strong. And again, like I said, you have the energy that people love about you or are attracted to you because of it, who you are. And it's the person that you've created based on everything you've been through. But you have the energy of the, the girl from Hunger Games. You just get in there. You don't think about your losses. You just have so much courage, so much strength, so much ambition to do those things. And then Five of Pentacles, again, you believe that you're your own savior and people find that very attracted, attractive. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles, again, a very independent person makes really sound decisions, very um, ambitious, very logical, um, very independent with the justice card here. People love that about you. There's, you're very multifaceted. People are attracted to that as well. Three of Wands, you take really good care of yourself. Yeah, they love that you take really good care of yourself. People are attracted to that. And then we have the Two of Cups, you're a lover. You're a lover. You're a lover and people love that about you. You're open to love. You're such a lover. Can be romantic. People like that about you. Loyal, committed, wanting to settle down. People love that. They're attracted to that. Three of Wands again. So yeah, you're a manifester. You don't wait for things to happen. You do them yourself. You go out there and do them. People love that about you as well. Six of Cups, 
you could love children, love to be around children or have a child like perspective on life. People love that about you. You could be very adventurous. I do feel like you, you are adventurous. People love that about you. Um, spontaneous as well. Again, you go after what it is that you want. So nothing really gets in the way. You don't really fear many things and the things that you do fear are things that are fragile to you, fragile to your heart. Like, you know, losing people, losing people to to death or things like that. That's what you fear the most. You don't fear the, the things along the surface. All right, three of wands, you're a manifester. People love that, very attracted to you. You take risk, you're the fool. Like I said, you have a rebel spirit. And so with the fool card, this tells me that, again, you go after what it is that you want. People are very attracted to that. They're very attracted that you don't care about what people think of you. You've gotten this far on your own, uh, but you have a really good sense of balance of loyalty as well. So you're independent, but you're also open to new love or partnership. And so it's kind of like the best of both worlds, but with the full card, you see life as infinite potential. And even, I mean, she's a mermaid, right? So you see life like this. You don't, you're not a closed-minded person. And that's what people are attracted to as well, that you're not closed-minded. You're willing to take risk. You're willing to do new things in life. And, um, and they love that about you. It's adventurous. And it's like, well, what is, what are they up to today? Or what are they up to next month? Where are they going to be next month? Um, you're, you're not easy to find. Like you're not a type of person who has routine as much. Like you like to go with the flow, but also take risk. And that's what people love about you. And then last but not least, we have two justice. You guys could be Libra. Let's see what else I have on the board. Libra. I think that's about it. Yeah, you guys could be a Libra or the person you're asking about could be a Libra. Uh, but for the most part, justice, you're all about what is right. And you also, you may believe in karma, but you have good intentions. You have good intentions for people. And though you come off as very strong, people love that about you. They still see the soft spot, the soft side of you, which is what I was saying with the, with the justice card, there's a balance there. There's a balance of I'm independent and strong, and then I'm romantic and soft with you. And so people love that, especially coming from a relationship standpoint, people really admire uh, that about you and love or are attracted to that. So overall with you guys, deck number one, here's the summary. People are attracted to you based on your spiritual side, what you bring to the table. You have intuition, really good awareness. You're very loyal and people find this attractive and they feel like you're very focused, ambitious and don't care about what people say, willing to take risks, willing to go out there and do new things, try new things, eat new foods, any of that. You guys have, again, the energy of the girl from Hunger Games. You guys are out there doing it. You will risk your life for the people and the things that you really care about and love, people love that about you. They look up to you because of that. And they also admire that about you. But they also love that you are so loving and open to relationship and um, willing to love other people. So people find that attractive as well. But overall, this is your guys' reading for deck number one. Don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing if this is similar to who you believe that you are. But for the most part, people find you very attractive based on your spirit, your intuition, and your drive and your will. All right, let's get on to deck number two. Okay, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what do people find most attractive about you or what does the person that you're thinking about find most attractive about you all right let's start with the spinner and get the overall energy for what people or the person you're thinking about find most attractive about you your eyes all right let's look into this your eyes deck number two all right let's see that's overall energy your eyes facing fear it's interesting because she has three eyes all right so major spiritual changes this is your chance to roar so people find that you face your fears you guys could be a leo you don't have to be i only say that because of the energy that i'm picking up here you guys most people are attracted to you because you're able to face your fears head on and they feel people feel like you don't really fear much and so they see that you have a lot of strength especially spiritually all right, let's see what else we have here. Mermaid soul. So you guys are open to mystical things, open to spiritual aspects. 
different things on life people love about you. It says, love is not blind, it only sees what matters. So you have an interesting perspective on love that people really admire. You have a different type of soul, mermaid. You guys could be very spontaneous. I feel like people love that about you. Um, not not very many things get in the way. You also could be a traveler with the world's, world's cards here. And you guys, I do feel like you guys are spiritual but mystical. People love that about you. You're interested in new things, mystical things. Earth goddess, yeah. So you have a goddess and a mermaid soul. So you're a very interesting person uh, for, the, for the best and for the better. So it's not a bad thing. People really are attracted to the fact that you're so different and willing to be different. Also, who are you? Who you are. So basically, this also tells me that you guys are pretty much spiritually aware of who you are. People are attracted to that as well. Let's see what your guys' animal spirit is. The canary spirit, sing your own song. So yeah, you dance to your own song, you dance to your own beat, you create your own reality, you make things happen, you face your fears, you never give up. People love that about you as well. You're never giving up, you're always going towards what it is that you want. You face your fears head on, very strong-minded, strong-willed. Magic, yeah. You have a very, again, you have a very mystical energy. You do have a, you do have an energy or a soul of a mermaid. With the magic card here as well, this is someone who believes in miracles, who believes in magic, fairies, uh, believes in the good of worlds. Uh, people also are attracted to you because you're an empath. You pick up a lot of energy. People love that about you. But I also feel like that means that you guys could be very emotionally connected. With empaths, it's like, Anything can happen, a shift can happen in, in the masses and you will feel it. And one day you'll wake up and you're like, why do I feel this way? It's because you're so in tune with the spiritual world, the mystical world. Um, a lot of you guys also could believe in aliens. That's fine because, I mean, I love aliens and I love astronauts and I love things that are mystical. So unicorns and mermaids, you guys have this upbeat spirit that people love. You sing your own song. You could love to dance, love to sing, very artistic, seeing life from a really good point of view. And also people love and are attracted to you because of your perspective on life, how you view the world. You view it from a childlike perspective. People love that fun and bouncy. Adventure, yeah. This, you guys have really great energy already. Like I would, I feel like a lot of people would be attracted to you based on just this energy. Very positive person to be around, very upbeat. Even though sometimes you have your days, people for the most part feel as though you're very adventurous. You do, you dare to do things differently. You love to travel. We have travel again. Some of you guys love to travel or love to move around. Um, you guys also could love the water or love to be around the water or yeah, for sure. I'm definitely getting that for some of you guys loving the ocean, being around the water, nature. People love that about you. Very in tune with the world, the universe, just a really good spirit. I can see why people are attracted to you. This is the type of person you want to be around when you're going out or you're traveling the world. You just have such an addictive personality as far as like positivity and positiveness. And, and so I feel like I'm trying to get all these messages down because I see you guys being with people and people just loving to be around you and they're just so attracted to you. I feel like some people have been attracted to you and don't know why. They're like, uh, this is my friend, or uh, this is my brother's girlfriend or boyfriend, and they're questioning why they feel this way. It's because your energy is so addicting. They just call this person, tell them to come over, tell them to come. That's what I hear people saying about you. Invite them over, Let let tell them about where we're gonna go. Um, and because you have just such a great energy. Beloved. Yeah, you have a really good energy, especially when it comes to balancing, believe, believing that you're lovable. You could be very, again, bubbly, very upbeat. People are attracted to that. And then your eyes, if you look closely, it's interesting because I randomly shuffle these cards. They just fall when they fall when I'm choosing the deck. I don't choose them out and then make you guys pick them. But her eyes, the eyes are just so alluring. Um, so I can see why people are attracted to your eyes. Brown eyes, green eyes, blue eyes, hazel, 
big eyes, just something about it, even if they're not colored eyes, there's just something about your eyes that are very alluring that I see that why people would feel that way, especially with this one. All right, let's see what else do we got here. So beloved, yes, um, the butterflies again, the butterflies, the fairy tales, the mermaids, like, you know, this, this, I hope this really describes you because if it does, you guys are pretty awesome. All right. Also, Ten of Cups, you have all you wish for in your relationships. Really good in relationships. Very lovable. Easily, easy to get along with. Also, very open to love. Very unconditionally loving. People admire that and are attracted to that about you as well. Three of Wands, I have the energy. I need to realize my goals. So you do go after your goals. People are physically attracted to that as well. You don't wait for them to come. You go after them. Again, you have a positive outlook on life, so people are attracted to that. Also, people feel like you're very skillful. I dedicate myself to what I believe in. People feel like you're very skillful and you're very good at what you do. And with dedicating what you believe in, obviously, like I said, you guys are very mystical people. You're not, I don't find you very practical at all. All right, so with the Eight of Pentacles, people find it very find you very attractive because of the work that you do and the things that you do believe in. Again, like I said, mystical. You guys believe in that type of stuff. Two of Cups, I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. So I feel like people feel as though you make them very worthy of deserving love and make them feel like it doesn't matter how different you are, it doesn't matter how unique you are, you still deserve to be loved. That's how I feel like your perspective is and it's kind of crazy because with the mermaid the fairy tales the butterflies and all of this it tells me that you guys are not judgmental people and you take in everybody but if you're able to love mystical things such as mermaids and unicorns and fairies it tells me that you believe everybody deserves to be loved even mystical creatures which is amazing so you do got you guys do have this open and overwhelming amount of love that people are attracted to Four of Cups, you guys have a lot of cup energy and we have a lot of water. So for some of you guys, you guys are definitely water signs for sure or asking about a water sign because honestly, like this, this is so much water and the mermaid or you guys just really love to be in the water or around the ocean or hear the water. Um, I listen to my heart and follow my knowing. So yes, you guys, again, are not practical people. People are attracted to the fact that you are not logical, that you're open Again, you're open to mystical things, different things, new things, adventure, travel. And so this makes you very lovable, but also people are attracted to the fact that you do listen to your heart and you follow your knowing. So your heart is kind of like your higher self, your universe. That's who you listen to on a day-to-day -day basis. And people are attracted to you because of that. Ten of Pentacles, some of you guys could be a family person, love family, love to be around family, or very stable financially. People love that about you. If this isn't a stable situation and you guys, hmm, let me see. I feel like this is more, rather than financially stable, I feel like you guys are stable with family, wanting family, wanting commitment, loving to be around family, being very family oriented and foundation oriented. Three of Cups. We have more cup cards. But I'm also seeing that you guys are the type of person who invite everybody over for holidays. Like if they don't have a place to go, you wouldn't invite them over so they didn't feel left out. People are very attracted to you because of that. The Three of Cups also, um, they people see that you enjoy having fun and that you're a free spirit. So when you go out, when you have drinks with your friends, or when people see you out, they're attracted to the fact that you're such a free spirit. People see that and pick up on that right away. We have another cup card, the Eight of Cups. So much, so many emotions here. You guys are emotional creatures, which is great. People are attracted to that as well. Also with the Eight of Cups, this is usually walking away from things. I feel like you guys have been through a lot, but you're still lovable and still loving. While most people find reasons to not love again you guys have found a reason to love again so instead of looking at the glass half empty you guys see it as half full and very positive outlook on how things can change and optimistic about your future and which people are attracted to as well and then we have the strength card again like i said in the very beginning i didn't even know this card was in here but if you guys are a leo or asking about leo or have leo in your rising moon or sun chart 
then yes, I'm talking to you as well. So with the strength card, people love that. Your strength isn't, it doesn't come from an independent, strong will person who's just so like have, having masculine energy that, oh, look at him or her, she's so strong. It's not from a concept of seeing strong from a physical aspect, your heart. I feel like it's your heart that's strong and your soul especially because people are attracted to your eyes. So this is gonna be looking into your eyes, but seeing how strong you are. It's like a strong soul, strong spirit. It's not, cause you still are very delicate. For the most part, you guys are very delicate. You're, again, you guys are emotional creatures, um, which people are attracted to because it's, again, I feel like you guys are impasse, but with the strength card, this tells me that you guys are really strong but it's also strong in being who you are. And then I didn't even realize it says, love is not blind, it only sees what it matters. Yeah, I did read that. So again, I feel like you guys are very strong in that, even with facing your fear. You're able to face your fears because of the heart that you have and because of your spirit, not necessarily the physical aspect that people are attracted to. They're attracted to that inner strength is what I get. seven of pentacles that you guys are patient with people but for some of you guys i don't feel like it's because you guys are patient i think it's just that you guys invest what you believe in you invest what you believe in you put your heart on the line for the things that you love and really really care for and care about ten of wands very independent you guys go through a lot again you are you are empath, so you do pick up energy i don't think people re realize that about you you you're very upgoing upbeat but you go through a lot. And so the only way you're able to get through this with the strength card is having that optimistic point of view that you guys have and that positive upbeat spirit to face your fear. And again, that's what people are attracted to. And then last but not least, we have the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles prospers on her own. She is very independent and she trusts in her, her capabilities of being able to manifest what it is that she truly wants. I feel like you guys are great manifestors and it's because of your heart that you guys are so favored and have so much grace and gratitude. Overall, people find you guys very attractive because of your soul, your spirit, your eyes, your love, your openness about seeing life, the perspective of life your non-judgmental side that is just open to loving people. Um, the fact that you sing your own song, you don't really need anybody. You're very determined. You're very determined, but it's because you know who you are. Very open to love, again, very emotional. Following your heart, following your intuition, people are attracted to that as well. So this is what I got for you guys for deck number two. Don't forget to comment down below if this is you or you feel like I am describing you to the T. But for the most part, people find you very attractive. They find your eyes very attractive. And the fact that you can face fear and that you're so strong and so open to mystical things. They see you as a mystical person, especially with the mermaid soul. All right, let's move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. And what do they find attractive about you or what does the person you're thinking about find most attractive about you let's start with the spinner and see what people or the person you're thinking about finds most attractive about you all right so your body so physically people are attracted to you deck number three let's see what else we have the divine director, intervention and purpose. So basically, this is someone who is very in tune spiritually, especially with their purpose. So this person could be like a manager or a director or a creator, but basically people are attracted to the fact that you allow the universe to kind of guide you, but also Well, I can tell you guys that you're already multifaceted. So yes, you guys are physically attractive, but there's more to you. I feel like people, when they first see you, they're physically attracted to you, but they don't understand that there's more to you. 
Like there's more than looking good on the outside. Cause you know, even this person is really attractive. So people don't really see you. It's almost like people have the wrong impression of you or they, they don't really see you for who you really are right off the bat until they get to know you. So I feel like you guys are misunderstood for the most part, but they are tr attracted to you physically. Uh, but when the people that get to know you on a more deeper level, they're attracted to the fact that, wow, it's almost like body and brains. And so with the elephant spirit here, you guys are very strong and also um, have learned a lot from the past or have been through a lot in the past and have transformed. So you guys have a transformation spirit of beauty. And I feel like it's almost like the person who was in high school who everyone bullied is now like the most, the pretty person and people are just surprised. So you guys have been through a lot. Like you guys, for a few of you guys, you could have been bullied as a child and now people see you and they're like, what happened to them? Like you guys had a real glow up. Like this person had a real glow up. And so if people actually gave you a chance, they would understand that there's way more to you than what is um, what people what I'm hearing people are attracted to. So, yeah, you guys have been through a lot and now you guys are beautiful transfer transformed butterflies. And so people are mostly attracted to your outer appearance, but the people who get to know you are attracted to some things in the inner. All right. The bright. The bright destiny. So it became a butterfly. Here we go again. Like I told deck number two, I don't pick the cards to come together. Like I don't say, oh, this would be a great card. This would be a great card. I literally just shuffle through multiple decks. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decks today. So the chances of me getting this card with the butterfly just lets me know that this is confirmation that I'm talking to you. So it became a butterfly. It's almost like, okay, it says, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over. And so that's what I'm saying. You guys have been through a lot and that's kind of gives the story to why you guys are so beautiful, why you guys are so transformed and have such a butterfly spirit and people are attracted to you. Um, because with the bright destiny, there was a point where I don't feel like people found you physically attractive for some of you guys like in the past. And now you guys have a glow up and it's just like your inner beauty is now pouring over into your outer beauty. So with the bright destiny, this tells me again that you guys are very beautiful. People find you very attractive. And then we're, I'm sure this divine director is going to come up in, in most of the reading. So elk medicine woman, wild at heart. So yeah, again, you guys could be uh, someone who enjoys going out or being in the spotlight. If not, I feel like you guys are pretty much like you guys have a star spirit. You guys have a star spirit. People see you as stars. They're attracted to that. They're attracted to that. For most of you guys, some of you guys like to be in the spotlight. Some of you guys prefer to be in the background directing things. But uh, I feel like a lot of you guys like to be in the spotlight. And if you don't, people just spotlight you without you even knowing. They just see you. You stand out in the crowd. Uh, when you go to places, people are allured by you. Um, they're very drawn into your beauty physically and the people again that get to meet you are attracted to your mind and i'm sure we'll get more into that possibility so again as you just see already with the colors this is a very colorful person so people find it very attractive that there are multiple things about you that are lovable um and so you do or you might come across as having high standards i think people find that attractive for the most part if they feel like they're adequate enough to meet these standards other people I think misjudge you sanctuary take time out from the world spend more time alone meditate so I feel like you guys could spend some time alone or have spent time alone and people see you as being a safe place or a sanctuary it's interesting because again, there's two parts to you. There's the physical aspect, but when people get to know you, they find it very safe, very comfortable to open up to you. As long as they didn't judge you from the start, they become very open to expressing things that they would no normally not tell other people. So people are attracted to the fact that you are a sanctuary, that you can be a safe place and that you have a sincere spirit. There's more to you than just what you look like intention so people i feel like for the most part again you guys are misinterpreted 
tit and people question your motives or intentions and it's because of how you look physically and again it's misconstrued because your energy is something else like you have you're multifaceted you're beautiful on the inside but you have your own beauty in the in the uh both outside and the inside so with the intention i feel like people question that about you and they're uncertain of that because again they've misjudged you but we're going to get more into this as we get into the tarot because you guys can seem pretty complex to understand. Like that's what I'm getting with the cards. The star, I am inspired and positive about the, the future. Again, guys, seven decks here. I don't choose them. I quite frankly think that you guys are a star or you guys have star-like energy and you stand out in the crowd. Uh, you could also be an Aquarius. You don't have to be. Um, I am inspired and positive about the future. So you're very optimistic. You know that you're going places. You guys have dreams. Some of you guys are artists. Some of you guys are creators that people are attracted to. You create things, whether it's interiorly, like interior of your home, of your car, uh, fashion into fashion, things that are creative and beautiful you guys are into for the most part. And it's because of your past that you guys have been able to transform into beauty. And so it's interesting because people see you as being very successful. They're attracted to that. They know that you're going places no matter where you are currently just because of the energy that you guys have. In the past, I don't feel like people felt that way, but now if they're seeing you again, like if you went to a high school reunion, they wouldn't even recognize you because you've changed so much. You believe in yourself. Uh, you believe in more. You don't really settle for less. Again, you could have high standards here and people take that the wrong way. But for the most part in your guys' inside, being the intervention and the purpose, you guys do have a bigger purpose than um, the physical aspect to you that most people don't really realize and the fact that you you do have a peaceful side to you I do feel like some of you guys could be wild and go out and people see you they and again They misinterpret you and they find you very attractive, but the ones who do get to know you See that you're very positive that you have a lot to offer as far as peace and being in a sanctuary having a sanctuary spirit and a bigger purpose than what people realize. And I get also that people are attracted to you because you're mysterious, because there's more to you. Yeah, all right, let's see. 10 of Wands, I love and care for myself first. So you guys have really good self-care. You take care of yourself. People admire that about you. Again, we're looking at physically, we have two different sides to you what people are attracted to you physically as that's what I first initially spun, but then also the intervention, the purpose, which is about the sanctuary, uh, the intention and uh, your other inner beauty. So focusing on your outer beauty, people admire that you take care of yourself. Um, again, you could get your hair cut once a month. You could do your nails every three weeks. You could get your, your eyelashes done or things of that nature. And you take really good care of yourself. So people are very attracted to that. Three of Cups, you embrace joyful opportunities. Again, you guys are wild at heart. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys do like to celebrate party. Um, not excessive partying, but you guys do enjoy going out. Being, some of you, the life of the party, the Three of Cups is all about celebration. You love to celebrate, do fun things, and enjoy people. You are a people person as well. People are very attracted to that. Ace of Wands, you're inspired to find, follow your own passion. So yeah, people are admired that you're very passionate, that you go after what it is that you want. Like I said, you guys may not feel like this about yourself, but people do find it very attractive that you're going to be successful or they see you as already being successful. And the fact that you're very passionate, you go after your dreams. You're not just successful in the workplace. You're successful in life. People are attracted to that. So not just financially. Then we have the world card. I celebrate life and welcome new energy. So yeah, celebrating. So you guys do a lot of that. You enjoy concerts, things of that nature. Again, parties, barbecues, family events, loving. You're very, you're really good with people. Very outgoing. This is like a lot of fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. This is like, I'm picking up a lot of that type of energy, just being the life of the party, the star, being very physically attractive, being very passionate, going after what you want. People really admire that. King of Cups, but you guys are still very giving, very loving. 
very open to do that. You're, you're, even though people may suspect that you wouldn't be the commitment type, you are. You have a lot of emotions to give. You could come across as a hard ass, but for the most part, you guys have a soft heart and very emotional, very emotionally giving. You guys could be a parent as well for a few of you guys. A lot of people find that attractive because it balances you. Seven of Cups, again, you guys could be considered loving materials, being high, high maintenance. I don't know if that's considered a bad trait, but people do find it attractive that you care about things um, that make you feel enhanced or enhance you. The Tower card, I feel like with this card, yeah, so we have strength, so you guys could be a Leo. All right, we have a strength card, the tower card, and the seven of cups. I feel like with this energy, this is telling me that when things happen, you guys overcome it. You have a lot of uh, tenacity, a very persistent, resilient, have a lot of strength and courage to go after what it is that you're passionate about. Things may have happened, but you guys pick yourself right back up. Um, I, and I do feel like you guys have a purpose of, and you have a lot of inner beauty. And it has to do a lot with the purpose or the things that you're here on this earth to do. Some of you guys may be aware of that. Some of you guys may not. But for the most part, I feel like the people who are aware of the purpose that you have, that, again, with happiness is your purpose. People enjoy being around you because of that. Knight of Swords. So you guys speak up. You guys speak up when things are wrong or right. You guys are very outspoken. People love that. A leader. You're not a follower. People love that you're outspoken, that you speak up for the things you believe in, the things you have passion about, what you're inspired to do. I feel like people find that very attractive. The high priestess, but this is an interesting thing to you. So though you guys are attractive on the outside and you have a lot of strength and people see this and you have so much beauty and you're a people person and you love to be out and you love to celebrate, like I said, there's still a part to you that many people don't get the opportunity to be introduced to, and that's your spiritual side. And so with the divine director, the, the intervention and the purpose, we have the high priestess. So you guys are, I feel like maybe not in the past, you guys weren't spiritually aware or awakened, but now it's only enhancing your beauty. So it's like, yes, you're beautiful on the outside physically, but with the high priestess, this tells me that when people get to know you on a deeper level, they're going to find you that much more attractive because of the high priestess, because of your spiritual side, because of the things that you believe in, because you're so in tune with spirit, like you're spiritual. And I also feel like you're a people person, but that's because you have great energy. So there is a high priestess side to you where you guys manifest the things that you want, which obviously makes sense because if you guys are successful, people see you as a sanctuary, you're able to go out, you're beautiful. Um, and people misjudge that there, it makes sense why you could be able to manifest these things in your life. But like I said, with people misjudging that they don't understand that it is the spiritual side to you that makes you who you are, that makes you balance and gives you, um, the inner beauty that most people find attractive about you when they get the chance to, to see that. And then we have the queen of cups. So we have the queen and the king of cups. So you guys are very passionate about love. Though I don't have much love here, I feel like you guys are not only spiritually in tune, very beautiful, have been through a lot that's made you um, who you are and made you encompass the beauty that you do have, uh, the success that you guys have, but also now the love. So you guys could be parents or have children with the King and the Queen of Cups, but for the most part, these are the, the two individuals that are very emotionally balanced when it comes to raising a family or life so you're a very emotional person people may feel like you don't care about what they think but for the most part i do feel like you guys kind of have a sense of caring because you have a big heart and you could be a people pleaser so you guys are very emotionally in tune and uh, you have a big heart so people find that attractive about you as well all right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what do people or the person you're thinking about find most attractive about you. Don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing if this resonates with your character or if you're surprised that people actually feel this way about you. All right, let's move on to deck number four.
All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what do people find most attractive about you or the person that you're thinking about, what do they find most attractive about you? So let's get into the spinner and set the overall energy for what do people or the person you're thinking about find most attractive about you? Your energy. All right, let's see what this is about. Your energy for deck number four. You guys also had two of these cards that came out. This is your inner strength. Recognize that you have power. So people recognize that you do have power. If you don't believe that, people think that about you. Um, and very alluring. Both of these girls are very alluring. And then downloads and understanding. So also, I feel like you guys could have a deep connection or insight uh, with the astral realm. As that is what Lady Venus is all about. And the truth. So people admire that about you your inner strength in your downloads and understanding. So yes, of course, I could see that people would be very attracted to your energy, especially with this card here. She's very allured in an energetic light of white light. So you guys could be healers without knowing it, but let's get more into your guys' energy. Watch and wait, the seahorse spirit, and the parrot spirit watch your word so we have two that say watch so you guys are intuitive this is more about knowing the seahorse is watching and waiting also knowing but the watch your words this is also about hearing so you guys could be intuitive or again healers but you guys do have a gift that people are lured by sometimes it's your energy that people are attracted to and they question why am i attracted to this person but we later realize that it's just the energy that they're in while they're doing whatever it is that they're doing. So your inner strength, downloads, understanding, watching and wait and watch your words. So let's get more into it. Your priority of purpose. Love is everything. Queen of hearts. All right. So I also feel like people are attracted to your heart. Uh, you may come off as harsh. But it's also just because you really care about you really care about making things right and you really care about love. Also, this card says love is my religion. So you guys are all about love, speaking love. You guys could be mentors, guides, healers, or also someone who is an educator. People love that about you, your wisdom, how much you know because of your intuition. And people see you as a very powerful person. All right, let's see what else we have here. Abundance. Gentleness. All right, so yeah, you guys are very compassionate people. People are very attracted to the fact that you guys are compassionate and also having a balance of intuition. With the abundance card, we know that abundance could mean money, but it's also the bounty of life. And I love the fact that there's no word on here that says money because abundance could be abundance in health, but with you, it's abundance in love and energy. So people are really attracted to how much you love, how much you give. You guys also could be volunteers or work with people in helping them. People find that you're very strong inside but also that you are you have a lot to teach. So when people are around you, they're attracted to the fact that they can learn from you. Uh, but I also feel like it's due to the fact that you guys embody and embrace love and people are attracted to the love aspect as well. With the gentleness, people find that you are kind. You guys could be very soft-spoken. I don't feel like you guys are dominant or aggressive. It's more of a very sweet, kind spirit that I'm getting from a place of love. So everything that you do is out of a place of love and caring for people. And people love the fact that you're very compassionate and loving. And so in depth and drowned in the things that you do. You have this love for helping people understand that they can too be strong-willed, that they can too get through this. That's like the energy that I'm picking up. So yeah, speak words of love. So you guys are a speaker. You guys are also a manifester. People believe that you guys manifest the things that you want. 
something with speaking for sure all right three of swords i see exactly as things are so yeah you guys could have done with uh dealt with heartache a lot of it especially because you guys embody love so most of the time our purpose and the things that we're here to do are our biggest struggles so if your guys is love then yes you guys could have went through a lot of heartbreak and went through a lot of things but you guys have learned how to heal yourself through love and so i do feel like for some of you guys you are healers or you have the gift of love or speaking and people feel that love knight of pentacles you deserve financial security so i feel like you guys could be very set financially people see that about you but for the most part i get that it's more independent you could be a mother with the empress card here i create what i nat choose naturally and with joy i just feel like you guys are very abundant you have an abundant energy that people are attracted to. So with the Empress card here, you guys also have a nurturing spirit because the Empress is about creation, fertility, children. If you guys do or do not have children, this is something that people find attractive about you as far as if you do, they see that you're very nurturing or you have a motherly spirit. If you don't, they see that you have a motherly spirit and that you are also a creator so you guys could be an artist or create things or an entrepreneur or have your own yoga class or have your own thing that you do on the side that you guys have created they i also feel like you guys are very attractive to this person physically the empress is very confident very beautiful and she knows that she doesn't care what people think she knows that she's beautiful but i feel like your energy radiates before people even get to see you physically they see your energy Seven of Pentacles, I trust my ideas and directions. So I do feel like you guys have something that you're doing on the side. If you guys are not doing something on the side, there's something that you guys do that people are always asking for you to do for them. Whether it's advice or, hey, can you do this for me? Or, hey, can you cook me this? People see that you do have gifts and ideas. And so this is a sign that if people are attracted to the things that you do, even if it's labor-wise, this is something that you guys can create abundance from because you guys are actually gifted as well. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, I see a lot of money around you guys. So you guys can be financially successful or again, with the abundance, you guys just have so much energy. It's an abundant energy. It's an overflow of energy. It's great energy. It's enough to walk into a room and change the energy of the room. So people want you to be around a lot because of that. It's almost like they feel like you're a good luck charm. So yeah, you guys have been through a lot with the Four of Cups here. Let's see. Five, yeah, a lot of loss. So you guys do have inner strength. This is where the inner strength comes in. So you guys have been through a lot financially and love-wise. Some of you guys, uh, childhood stuff. You guys have been through a lot, but you guys went through this so that you guys can gain the inner strength and the Lady Venus energy of downloading and understanding. So it's about what you guys have been through that has given you the ability to have inner strength, downloads and understanding. So when people are attracted to these things about you, they don't understand where it comes from or how much you've been through because they just see you as being so strong. But again, it's not like a physical strong, it's an inner strength. Yeah, you guys have been through a lot. And I feel like you guys also have a gift of working with people who have been through a lot. So a lot of compassion, a lot of love, gentleness, uh, also peace. I feel like people feel peace when they're around you. They're very attracted to that. The high priestess. Yeah, you guys are very in tune, very gifted. People see that and I'm going to weigh into that queen of swords, a manifester. So yeah, people just kind of assume that you haven't been through so much because you guys are manifestors with the high priestess. You guys know who you are. People find that very attractive. You don't question it. You're the same person. They'll meet you next year. You'll be the same person. However, your energy will have shifted because you guys are constantly growing. But with the Queen of Swords energy, this is someone who doesn't settle for less, who is an advocate, who is also a speaker on things that they believe is right, a speaker on love. You're, you're about unity, bringing people together. People understand and love that about you as far as you welcoming everyone in with unity and open arms. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, you guys, for some of you guys, you guys are pretty set financially. I don't know what it is that you do, but the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles, you guys 
have a lot of money or a lot of abundant energy that people see on you and they just assume that you're abundant, that you're never, ever going to go without. And that is also an energy because we understand that abundance and money is frequency. It's currency, which is a current. That's an energy. So it is also about your energy that is very abundant and rich and luxurious. The sun. Wow. People feel like, again, you're a good luck charm. That you're good to have. Good to have for insight. Very attracted to that. A very happy person. So you encompass the energy of abundance and the sun, which is someone who is very joyful, very happy. The universe brings all I need to feel blissful. So yeah, you rely on the universe. You're very spiritual. People are attracted to that. The king of wands, I am successful. Again, success is coming up. So if you guys are not, you sure in the hell are on your way to success with all of this pinnacle energy. You guys also could be earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, because pinnacle energy is that, but we have a lot of fire sign. And also the only thing that I don't have out here is a lot of sword energy. We have a couple, but for the most part, you guys are pretty well balanced. That's what I'm getting at. You're pretty well balanced. You have some fire energy here. You have some earth energy and some swords and emotions and a really big heart that people love. And then the five of cups, I will move forward when the time is right. So this is about, again, this is this situation over here. You guys have been through a lot. People love that about you. If you guys have shared the things that you've been through, people find it attractive that you have found the inner strength to be able to go through something and still have amazing, compassionate energy. Some people go through things and they change or their heart gets cold or hardened. With you guys, it's like you've been hurt but you've healed yourself time and time again with compassion and love and you still have this sincere innocence of uh, energy that people are really attracted to and for the most part success successful energy abundant if you don't find yourself being financially stable now i do believe you have the energy to create success and abundance in your life As when you shift your uh, consciousness and if you do have limited perspectives, because I do strongly feel that people see that you're very abundant and you have this abundant energy and it's only a matter of time before you walk completely in that energy. So people find that you're abundant in love for the most part and understanding, having a lot of wisdom, being an educator. People feel like when they're around you that they're able to learn more insights. So it's almost like that people see you as an oracle or a source where I'm gonna call this person, I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna call him and ask what he thinks or she thinks. And that's because people admire your advice, your opinions. Um, and I do think for the most part, people admire the fact that you're so genuine and sincere about what it is that you're telling people. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what do people or the person you're thinking about find attractive or most attractive about you? Don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing if this resonates with you guys or if you're surprised that people actually are attracted to you because of your energy. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this Pick a Card reading. I will see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading.